Today on BRS TV, we have episode 21 of our Neptune Apex series, the PM2 Conductivity Module. Hi, I'm Ryan, host of BRS TV, where each week we cover a new topic related to reefing. This week, we're going to set up a PM2, otherwise referred to as the Apex Probe Module 2. Primary purpose of this module is to measure and control conductivity, which represents the salinity of the tank. We'll cover a couple of main uses for the PM2 and some simple programming. If you're looking for the salinity probe calibration, check out episode nine of our Apex series where we covered that in detail. There are a few major reasons someone would want to measure and control salinity. Biggest one is probably to protect the tank from an auto top off failure. This can be a separate auto top off for float switches on the Apex IO switch box. If I back this up with salinity control that turns the auto top off off, if the salinity ever gets dangerously low, I feel the redundancy here has me covered for sure. I can also set up an email or warning alarm to tell me if the salinity is ever getting too high, which likely means I need to refill my auto top off reservoir. From a monitoring standpoint, it's nice for two-part users to see the salinity at a glance because the two-part salts will raise the salinity slowly over time. Most water chain schedules will make this pretty insignificant, but it's nice to see. Some reefers may also select to put a PM2 on their saltwater mixing bin or RODI storage container if they can run an Aquabus cable there. Pretty nice to be able to open up Fusion on your phone and see the salinity of the mixing or storage container and should result in less trips down to check on it and adjustments. For programming an outlet or alarm, it's pretty similar to programming a pH or ORP control. I'll set up one based on controlling my auto top off and one for a warning alarm. First select the proper outlet in Fusion and click the settings gear next to it. Open the advanced tab and since we want it to turn off my auto top off if the salinity ever drops significantly, I'll enter if Condax 6 less than 34, then off, which will turn off the power to my auto top off if the salinity ever drops below 34. Note the proper capitalization and spaces are important and the X6 portion of the code signifies the module number my apex assigned to the salinity module. Yours could be X4 or 5. Setting up an email or warning alarm is just as easy. Hit the settings gear next to your alarm, add a line of code that says, if Condex 6 less than 34, then on, and if Condex 6 greater than 36, then on, send to Apex and you're done. Quick note on the other ports in the bottom of the probe module too. Like all Apex modules, there are two Aquabus ports to connect the module to your Apex and daisy chain it to other modules. There's also an additional IO switch port which allows you to add additional switches. Lastly, there's a slot for an additional temp probe. If you add a second temp probe here, it will increase the accuracy of your conductivity probe. This is optional and the conductivity probe is pretty accurate without it, but I'd wager it's something that most people do. You can actually just move your main temp probe here, but that would require you to change out all of your outlet programming to match this probe name, swap out the fusion tiles and display. Depending on how you mounted your wiring, you may have to disassemble that as well. Some people just find it easier to get a second temp probe. If you have any questions or comments on how to use your conductivity probe or advice for other reefers, check out the comments area down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because we release two new reefing videos every week. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.